Well, hi there. This is going to be a very quick video. Um, I'm just going to introduce what is called the Cartesian plane. Uh, it was named after a guy named Rene Descartes. I, I don't know how to say his name properly. Um, it sounds French to me, but uh, I could be totally wrong. <laughs> anyway, he came up with an idea uh, how to plot numbers and um, we have in front of us here, if you can see, it looks like a plus sign. What he figured out is that you could take a number line, so zero is right here where this hand is, and then it would go one, two, three, four, five, and then if you were to go to the left on this part here, it would go negative one, negative two, and so on. And also to take another number line and to flip it sideways so that it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forever upwards, and negative one, negative two, negative three, etc., all the way down. Okay, I'm going to click a button here. There we go. And this is called the Cartesian plane. So you can pick any spot on here, kind of like Battleship. And I'm going to put a grid in now. See that little grid in the. I hope you can see it. Um, so if you were you know, if you were to choose this spot right, let's say right here, where, where the hand is pointing, I'm going to double click there and I'll explain what happens in a second. So, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but you should see a bracket with a 2 and then a comma and then a 3. I know it's small. This is called an ordered pair, okay? An ordered pair. And the very first number you see there is the 2 and we always with an ordered pair you always talk about what's along this line first and then the next number, the 3, is talking about what's along this vertical line. Okay, so we have a horizontal line and a vertical line. The horizontal line has a special name. It is called the x-axis and if you look over here you'll see the letter x. Okay, and in the alphabet what comes after x? It is y. So this here is called the y-axis, okay? So we can literally take any two numbers and plot that point on this Cartesian plane. Um, this particular one only goes from negative 8 to 8 over here on the x-axis and it goes from negative 8 to 8 on the y-axis. But it could be something that was forever. It could go forever upwards. So yeah, in this case today we're just going to stick with numbers in between these boundaries here. So if we were to plot a point and someone said, I want you to plot uh, 5, 1. If they gave you a bracket, if, it, if, if they gave you an ordered pair that said 5 here and a 1 here, you would go across 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then you would go up 1, and I'm going to double click, and there it is. Pretty cool, eh? Let's try a more difficult one. How about, what if they said 5, negative 1? Well, you would go 5 this way again, but instead of uh, positive 1, you would go down 1. Ooh, and it's not very clear on this one here. I, I don't actually see the negative 1. I'm going to... I actually... I don't like that example because it kind of messes up the look. So let's say it was 5, negative 3. So you go 5 across and down 3. There's the spot, and 5, negative 3 is there. What we are doing here is called plotting. We are plotting ordered pairs. Look at the title. Ordered pairs, plotting, and quadrants. Okay, I, I'll quickly mention quadrants too before we do some more difficult examples. Um, each one of these areas, there's four of them, right? With the Cartesian plane, you start right here, and this is called quadrant one, right here. I don't know if I can draw that in. I'll try to draw that in right now. Let's see if I can write. And they usually use Roman numerals, so this is quadrant one. And instead of going clockwise, they go counterclockwise for some reason. So this would be quadrant two over here. Over here is quadrant three, and you can guess what the last one is. It's quadrant four, and I'm using Roman numerals. Now, to get back to to get back to our Cartesian plane here. Let's say you had to graph um, a more difficult one. I'll write it down. Let's see here. I'm going to pick uh, 
negative 3, 4. Where would that go? You can push pause right now and guess where it's going to go and then I'm going to follow that up right now. So you, put, you go ahead and push pause and plot that point on your screen with your finger. I'm going to do it right now. So negative 3, it means we go negative 3 on the x-axis and on the y-axis we go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and there's the spot, negative 3, 4. Okay, let's try another one just for practice. Um, let's try negative 3, negative 4. Where would that one be? Okay, push pause if you want. For those of you that did not push pause or those of you that want to know the answer right now, we're going to go negative 3, but instead of going up 4, we're going to go down 4 and click right there. Negative 3, negative 4. So are you starting to catch on to this? Let's try a couple more difficult ones. Um, wh well, they don't get much more difficult, but let's try this one. Um, what if it was 0, negative 7? What if it was 0, negative 7? Well, in this case, go ahead and push pause and make your guess. So what we would do in this case is you would say, well, zero means we're right in the middle. We don't go left or right, but we still go up or down. And because it's a negative seven, we go down to negative seven. And there is zero, negative seven. Wow. When I look at this, I see that the smart board software Maybe it's not so smart here in this case because that's a negative zero there. I don't think there's such a thing as a negative zero. It's just zero, negative seven. <laughs> anyway, that's new to me. I didn't realize it would say that. Okay, let's try another one. Um, what if it was um, negative seven and zero? Well, that is in a different spot, people. I hope you can see where that would be. Feel free to push pause if you want to guess. And let's do the answer now. Negative 7 means we would go left 7. And do we go up or down? The answer is no, because w the y part is 0. The y axis is 0. So it's negative 7. We don't go up or down. And there it is. And sure enough, they put a negative 0 over here as well. Um, people, that's all you really need to know about the Cartesian plane for now. This is just an introduction. Um, on ordered pairs, how to plot those ordered pairs, and also what the quadrants are in case your teacher starts saying, um, what quadrant is negative 3, negative 4 in? You could now say negative 3, negative 4 is in quadrant number 3. Okay, so that's just an example of how you would use the quadrant in your answer. Just so you know, it wasn't a waste of time. You, it was important, so thank you. Have a great day, everyone.